Say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera, Azalea. So the DJI Osmo Pocket got a new firmware update. Now we are up to firmware version uh, 01070020. Now this one gives you three different new updates to the DJI Osmo Pocket. And yes, we'll get into the video right now. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. What's going on guys, my name is Jason Morris and today we're going to talk about the DJI Osmo Pocket and the new firmware that was just released. Now this one is really good for people who love the hyperlapse function. Now the DJI Osmo Pocket is really good when it comes to hyperlapses. Um, that is the main use that I use the DJI Osmo Pocket for and the motion time lapse as well. So version 01070020 has brought out three different options for the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now the first one is your adjustable audio. So now with the audio, instead of having it on low, medium and high, you can actually change the decibels in the function. So that is really cool because you can get some micro adjustments with your audio adjustment there. She is very awake. Everyone, say hello to Azalea. Oh, nope, she doesn't like that. She's being burped. Now, once again, another function is they actually have increased your focusing speed and also reduced the focus pulsing. Now, I haven't really noticed much difference when it comes to the focus pulsing or um, the focus speed. I'm filming on the DJI Osmo Pocket in this side of the camera here, just to the side at the same time as I am with my A7 III. Now, just have a look in the background at that light if you can see any focus pulsing. It is on face tracking at the moment, so it'd be interesting to see if that's changed, but I haven't seen too much difference from last firmware update anyway. And lastly, the best function that I think has been released on the DJI Osmo Pocket is the hyperlapse function inside the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now you cannot use the hyperlapse function with the Mimo app as yet. Hopefully that'll be updated in the next firmware, but you can actually use the hyperlapse inside the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now this is really good for people who don't want to do the post-processing. I've done a couple of hyperlapse videos before and it has been a little bit confusing for some people. But now it, this makes it so much easier. All you need to do is select the speed of the hyperlapse and then you need to select uh, the object tracking or what objects you need to track. So all you need to do is tap on the screen, find that object and track it. Now I do still find it a little bit easier doing it my traditional way where you select the object in the Mimo app because it gives you a little bit more option of where you want the object to be tracked. So you can draw a bigger box and that'll actually allow it to not focus on something in the foreground when you pass it. So like if you pass a pole and it is a small object you're trying to track, it'll actually focus on the pole and then you have to start again. So the, traditionally, I would do it in the Mimo app and essentially what you do is you draw that uh, box around your subject, do the one minute of filming, bring it into your post-processing, speed it up by that 1000%. You need to nest the footage and obviously trim uh, what you need inside your footage. And then once you've nested it, trimmed it, you need to put warp stabilizer over the top and that'll give you some smooth hyperlapse footage. So that is it from me guys. Please hit that like button. Comment below if you found this useful. Just comment below if you are going to get the DJI Osmo Action that has just been recently released. Um, but that means absolutely nothing when it comes to us DJI Osmo Pocket users. Um, also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. Guys, say goodbye to us. My name's Jason Morris and this is Azalea. We'll see you guys 
in the next video. All right, let's get it.